another real estate story. This is Ale Chico, broker of record, the owner of Auto Realty. I'm in business from 1999. I've learned a lot from my experience and I would love to share it with you. I just remember a story about some of my clients, which a few years ago bought the property from the builder and they had to sell their own. They wanted to move to New Brunswick, which they eventually did. And they asked a few of their local realtors from the Georgetown how much the, their property would uh, really worth and how much can they get for it. The realtor, wasn't the honest realtor, gave them $1.4 million evaluation of the property. So when they called me and told me the story, I said, this is not what I think. Their opinion was like, oh, you're not a real local realtor, you don't know, etc., etc. Yes, I'm not local realtor. I don't live, for example, in Hamilton. I don't live in Toronto. I don't live in Oshawa. I don't live in Barrie or Muskoka Lakes or Collingwood or Saga Beach. But I do work everywhere. And the skills and knowledge I possess are very valuable. Eventually, what happened? That realtor, let's call them crooked realtor because this is exactly what that lady was she told them let's start from 1.5 and i'm sure we'll get it nothing was happening for months and two and three eventually they sold for 800 plus thousand dollars the value was like as i told them million and fifty thousand maybe maybe like if you like you'll get 1.1 million dollars for the property so they did not if they started at the market value plus couple of percent for negotiation or even a few percent below the market value they would sold not only over asking price but also over as market evaluation over the value of the property they did not in other words sellers dear sellers please do your homework Please do research. Please shop around. Get a pin or a few realtors and even estimation from your bank, from appraisals. And then decide what you would like to do. And in order for you to start, you can do this research on your own. You need to see what was sold in your neighborhood, what is in the market, and how many of the properties get terminated or canceled. How many properties could not sell for that price? And of course, the property needs to be apple to apple kind of comparison. Anyway, wishing you only the best. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and very wise decisions.